So when transporting puppies, it can be a little scary, especially if you're transporting newborn puppies that are sick. Um, or even if it's just like a singleton puppy, one puppy that you need to get to the vet, um, whatever the case may be, newborn puppies, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks to make sure that you ensure their safety. This stuff is gonna help keep them alive and get you to where you need to get them. So stay tuned. going on bully fam it's your boy the educator the scientist mr double muscle line bulls bringing you another episode of breeders hacks so today i um, just wanted to talk about something this is a little tip and trick that we use um when it comes to transporting puppies now um if you got say you just had a litter and your pup your 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 vet from your house you know is a very short distance right around the corner it's right around the corner <laughs> then it's not really a big deal. You could use a box and some blankets and stuff like that. But we travel sometimes an hour, two hours from when our vet is to where we're at. So, you know, we use our portable incubators to ensure that the puppies are at the most accurate temperature, um, the proper temperature, just ensuring their safety and keeping them alive. Because I've seen it happen plenty of times. Someone get a C-section far out, they do an hour, two hour drive, and then the puppies get cold. Um, and when puppies get cold, that's where sickness kicks in. That's where all kinds of, you wanna stay away from that. So anyway, um, so I've shown this before. This is our portable incubator. Um, and as you can see, we have it on, we have it plugged in right now. And what I wanted to show you guys was a little tip and trick that I haven't seen anybody use with this incubator and I haven't shared this either. <laughs> so what we do is with the portable incubators, right? And as you can see, I mean, I have it on right now. I have it open has a, the little light at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see, but anyway, so this is the little portable incubator. So um, when we're transporting puppies from the vet home, whatever the case may be, I mean, I'll maybe throw like a wee wee pad in, whatever the case. But the trick that I haven't shown people or I haven't shown on camera yet is say you have a singleton puppy, say you have maybe two puppies, you know, and they're very, very small, um, what you can do is take a wee-wee pad like this, right? And we'll throw the wee-wee pad in. And what you can do is get latex gloves. My vet actually calls it a uh, water pups. Um, there's another medical term for water pups, but this is what he calls water pups. So it's just taking latex gloves and filling them up with water. So now what makes these, um, now what makes this setup perfect, because especially if you have a single puppy, um, you can put these latex gloves, and I'll grab another one. You can put these latex gloves inside the incubator. So as you guys can see, we just fill it up with the latex gloves and because the incubator warms up from the floor, it actually warms up the water and the latex gloves. Now, um, don't get me wrong, every so often we're checking in, you know, we make sure obviously the gloves aren't punctured or anything like that, but it's just water. So anyway, because the floor warms up, it warms these bags up. And especially if you have like a singleton puppy, or let's just say you are you you need to bring one puppy to the vet and it's extremely sick and it's a newborn puppy. Um, you run the risk, and I've done this so many times where I've gone to the, I've brought a newborn puppy to the vet and the vet is waiting to see me, um, or I'm waiting to see the vet really. And um, it could be 20 minutes, it could be an hour and the puppy's starting to get cold and the vets don't really have um, something like this on standby for newborn puppies. So, um, I mean, if you're dealing with a sickly puppy, it can be a, between life and death. So what I'll do is I'll put these gloves with water and like I said, it mimics, especially if you have one puppy you're bringing to the vet and it's sick and the other ones are at home, whatever the case may be, it mimics other puppies and the puppy will rest up against the latex glove and feel you know warm and secure and get the warmth from the latex glove. Some breeds, uh, like the exotic bullies, I mean, some breeds get get flat chested very, very easily. So another thing is if you don't wanna put your puppies on that flat surface, then you can go ahead and use these gloves and it'll essentially be like a water bed for them. Um, and it's a lot more beneficial than having them on the flat hard surface. So that's a little tip and trick that we use um, because as an exotic bully breeder, we, we deal with other stuff than other breeds typically don't deal with. So that's one tip and trick. The next tip and trick is now, 
and I see this happen all the time, is when you're bringing the puppy to the vet, most of the time these newborn puppies need oxygen. How do you transport an oxygen machine with you to the vet? Um, oftentimes people don't even have an oxygen machine. In. And I'll just tell you this, that having an oxygen machine is like one of the best investments you can make. Um, even if it saves one puppy, it pays for itself. But anyway, uh, what we've found that's kind of cool that works is if I'm transporting a puppy and they need oxygen, I can buy, I found this at Lowe's and it's literally a can of oxygen. Um, and all you do is hold the puppy's mouth up to the oxygen here. I'm not gonna open up this one, but you press this down and it gives a little bit, a little burst of oxygen to the puppy. And you can continue to do that all the way until you get to the vet. Um, and you can have a, a few cans of these or whatever and they'll support you your whole trip. Because one of the biggest things I get when people tell me they're transporting their newborn, pu newborn puppies to the vet is well, the puppy needed oxygen and um, right when I took the puppy off of oxygen is when the puppy started to fade. So here you go. You got portable oxygen with you, which I think this is really, really, really cool. Um, so those are two key things that I would do when transporting your puppies right to the vet or um, they're troubled puppies, you need to transport them to wherever, the, where, wherever it may be. Have a portable incubator that will keep them warm. Warmth is key. When they get cold, that's where illnesses and things start to settle in and come in. So that's why I like these portable incubators. I've been using these forever. I love these. Um, and as you can see, um, oh, I got it flipped around. But as you can see, you know, we have our temperature set to 38 degrees centigrade. And they come preset like that. And essentially, I mean, if you could feel this, you'd see how warm this is. And the puppies will just love this. Um, especially, like I said, if you have a singleton puppy. So that with some oxygen and you're good to go. Um, and then on top of that too, um, have your cigarette lighter so you can keep your incubator on while you're in the car. So I think this kind of solves the problem of having an incubator um, without any oxygen, but now you can have oxygen on the go um, with your puppies when you're transporting to the vet, whatever. Um, so I just thought this tip and trick would be helpful when it comes to transporting your puppies, whether it's home or you're bringing them to the vet because I've had that happen. I had one puppy that was a little under the weather and I need to bring it to the vet. And now I'm stressing, how do I keep the puppy warm and still give the puppy oxygen um, until the vet can see the puppy? So there's the answer. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think that pretty much answers everything. Um, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. Um, you can get the incubator and stuff from our website, breedershacks.com. Um, if you got any other questions, please drop a comment down below. Um, please like, share, and subscribe so this video gets shown to more people like yourself. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks. Hey, what's going on, Bully Fam? This is Breeders Hold Hacks, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, coming at you with a, another video. Not, 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 not.